Hey, welcome back to Bear Squid. On this channel, we do math tutorials as well as teaching with the iPad. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best way to use YouTube. When I'm watching YouTube for studying, what I normally do is I wanna take notes on the side. I normally have YouTube open in split stream, so I've got the notes on one side and YouTube on another side, and while I'm watching the tutorial, I can copy some notes down. So I've got YouTube open up, and maybe I've got one of these videos playing, and then I'll go along and I'll open up notes alongside it. Unless you've got the 12.9 inch iPad, there's not a lot of space for you to type or write down your notes, especially when you wanna annotate and draw using the Apple Pencil. Now you can get away with it, and I'm not saying it's not doable. In fact, you can um, resize your split screen so you've got more space to type your notes. If I move the split screen so that I've got more space on my notes to write, the video is too small. I can't even see the video. It's minuscule. So what's a better way of doing this? Well, it's picture and picture. I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do get picture and picture mode on YouTube. First thing first, we're going to get rid of the YouTube app because in iPadOS 13.x, Apple introduced a desktop class browser. So we're going to be using youtube.com, the actual website. Okay. So here we go. We're going to delete this uh, app. Yep, I want to delete it. And now we're going to start using the desktop browser. But before we do anything, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to the App Store and I want you to download uh, this app here. It's absolutely free. It's a utility app. Once you've downloaded the app, go to Safari and go to YouTube.com. So here we go. I've gone to YouTube. Click on the video that you want to play. I'm just going to play this video here. And once you play the video, go to the send to button or the share button and go all the way down and you'll find a run PIP IFA, yeah? The picture in picture. Now look what we've got. We can come out of this and we've got the picture in picture and I can actually pinch and zoom and resize this. Now, when I, if I go back to my notes, I can now annotate uh, on my note and have this picture in picture. I can move this anywhere on the screen. In fact, I can even move it to one side when I wanna draw something or make some notes while I'm listening to the video. Okay, so this is the benefit of having picture in picture. I can actually put it anywhere I want. Okay, so now I can continue to make my notes here. I can write down stuff. So he's talking about, um, I don't know what he's talking about. We can make a list here actually. I'll make a list. So step one, uh, what do we need to do? We need to go to the files app. Step two, carry on watching the video. Okay, so this is very, very useful. In fact, I'll tell you a different reason why we use the YouTube on Safari instead of the app. Because in the app, I've deleted it now, so forget about the app. In the app, you can't actually copy and paste any details from the app. In fact, in Safari, if I click on this now, I can click on um, to make it full screen. So I've gone back out of uh, picture in picture and I've come to here, look. If I go to show more in the video description, I can actually take information that I need. So for example, maybe there's a few steps here. I can copy these steps down, control copy. Uh, in fact, if you're familiar with this app here, which was Yoink, I made a video about Yoink. I can copy and paste content into Yoink. And now if I go back to my notes, okay, I can drag this uh, information from Yoink straight into my notes. Now that's another benefit using the desktop browser for YouTube, you can copy and paste content. Sometimes there's information there, there's steps uh, in the videos, some of the educational videos that you guys are making, okay, you'll put instructions for your students that you want them to follow and copy down, and they can go ahead and do that from the desktop browser, okay? Well, it is a desktop browser, isn't it? The reason I tell you to download the P-I-P-I-F-I-E-R, try to say that quickly, <laughs> the Pipifier uh, utility app, is because it's more stable. Now look, I could do this. If I go full screen and I do this picture in picture, I can come out of uh, the web browser and I will have my picture in picture. Now I didn't use the Pipifier. I actually, I can do this. But one thing to make uh, note of is go to your settings. Okay, in fact, I'm gonna get rid of this now. Go to your settings, go to home screen and dock. Okay, go to multitasking. And then look, picture and picture should be on. It's not on because it's a bit finicky to be honest, but just make sure it's on. In fact, without it even being on, the Pipifier app, utility app does work, okay? But just make sure that you've got it on. Um, and then let's go back here. So what, what can I do? I can actually make it full screen and then I could do picture and picture mode and then I can actually come out of YouTube and look, I've got this and I can resize it. That's as small as it, as it goes. Oh, where's it gone? And then I can increase it as well. Look, don't you like that animation? Look at that, it looks brilliant. 
And so you can move it to the side as well. And then of course I can go to, let's say notability or good notes. And I can have a calculator to one side. I can have my notes to one side, get my Apple pencil. I'm trying to find out the square root of two. Okay, over three. Let me just clear out my notes here. And then view the video, play the video on one side. And I can carry on making my notes. In fact, I can even draw this shape here. I think it's a trapezoid or trapezium and make some notes with this, okay? So the picture in picture is really, really useful. Use a Pipifier um, utility app, that's really good. Or actually you can do it without using the Pipifier app because on youtube.com, uh, the actual Safari uh, browser, there's also a little button here, mini player. If I press I on the keyboard, it does it into mini play. So look, I can continue to go and view my subscriptions while the video's playing. Okay, go and browse stuff while the mini player is playing there. Here's the thing though, sometimes it works. If I do a quick sort of flick, the picture in picture does work. The YouTube app did used to have picture in picture a few years back. However, they took that feature off because it's now in YouTube premium. The utility app is probably the best way to do it. I'm gonna show you again how to uh, make the utility app work. So click on a video, any video. Okay, this is Math Wizard here and then share it, okay? And then go down to run Pipifier. And then that should uh, make it work. It should work in picture in picture. And then while you've got that playing there, you can go ahead and uh, go to your notes and start writing up your notes, okay? And of course you can adjust the size of this. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. I am pumping out a lot of um, teaching with our iPad tutorials to help you um, deliver your online lessons and for you to make your own uh, educational videos. Um, please do subscribe, please turn on notifications. And as always, I see you in the next one.